beautiful sunny day it is today in Melbourne. Absolutely perfect. Hey guys, R6 here. Uh, just a quick short sort of uh, vlog today. Uh, just heading down to the local Yamaha store, hopefully to pick up some new uh, bike locks. Which is also the subject I want to talk about today. Um, basically bike security, how to keep your bike safe, a uh, few maybe do's and don'ts, um, and just sort of my thoughts on sort of spending a bit of money to protect your bike. Uh, I, I honestly think it's one of the best investments you can make. Let's start off with parking at the shops. Now parking at the shops is something I absolutely hate doing because you get all them grubby little kids putting their fingers on your bike like I found the other day. I was not happy. Um, and obviously the parents don't give a shit. They're just like, yeah. You've just got fucking ice cream dribbling down your fingers, but hey, go touch that man's bike. Ass hats. So one of the things I'd like to suggest uh, for new riders or people that don't feel comfortable parking at shops is park in an open area. Now, one of the things that does bother me about this is that it does leave your bike open to people to touch. But I think that you can, you can feel a lot safer having your bike parked in an open area. One, because there's a lot of traffic around and a thief isn't likely to be tempted to steal a bike where there are hundreds of people constantly walking past. I know it may seem like a good idea to hide it uh, in a back alley or uh, <laughs> wherever you, you feel like it might be a bit safer, uh, but I can I can promise you that it's not. Uh, that leaves these uh, basically open to do what they want. Um, you know, give themselves cover and all of that sort of stuff. So when you're leaving your bike for long periods of time, leave it out in the open. Um, preferably, if you can, help it when you go into the shops or out to the movies or something, right next to the front door. Uh, nine out of ten times, the venue will have uh, security cameras. Uh, so if someone does decide they want to touch it or pinch it or whatever, uh, then you know you sort of, you've got that as a little bit of evidence. Second thing I'd like to suggest would have to be disc locks. Now, you can, you can search YouTube, there are lots of ways that thieves get around disc locks. Um, the use of those trolleys, they just lift the bike up, put them on the trolley, disc lock is no longer a problem. For this I would suggest having two disc locks, uh, one for the back, one for the front. Uh, if you only have one, I would honestly suggest putting it on the back. Uh, the reason for that being that they can, what, what most thieves will do is lift up the front wheel that you've got the disc lock on and they basically have free run of your bike. Uh, by putting it on the back, they have to lift the back, put it on the wheel lock, but when you turn your key off and lock your bike, if you can see there, that stops the front wheel from moving. So even if they do lift it up and put it on the back wheel, they're only gonna be spinning around in circles. If you only have one, I would honestly suggest putting it on the back. Um, but I would recommend getting two, as I'm getting to do right now. The other thing I would also suggest is when you're parking your bike at home, do absolutely everything you can to, to secure your bike. Put this locks on at home. Have one of those, have one of those big locks uh, between your two rims. Oh, these guys are on about. Probably off their heads. Yes, the other thing I would suggest is secure the shit out of your bike at home. Uh, put both disc locks on, put one of those chains between both your wheels. The other thing I would suggest too is getting, uh, I, I believe it's kryptonite, make uh, anchors that basically bolt down, bolt down to your garage floor. 
fold down to your garage floor with a little bit of a hook and you just wrap that around your tyres and it, it basically it starts bolting your bike to the ground it secures it um, probably one of the better things I would suggest for at home alarms guys too they are a little bit expensive about three four hundred bucks but when you think about what you're investing in it's honestly not that much uh, they've got perimeter sensors they've got they got alarms also too when storing your bike at home don't just leave it up to the bike security you want to try and stop thieves from even getting that far uh, security cameras, obviously around the house, they're good ones. So let's have them out in the open. Thieves are going to take one look and go, oh, shit, there's no way getting past that, let's not even try. Don't keep them hidden, because they'll look at your house and go, oh, no security cameras. All we're going to try and do is beat the bike security, if they even have any. Let's give it a go. Fuck me, it's windy. Just remember, when you're parking out, going to the shops or the movies or whatever, park it in the open. Uh, park it next to something so it makes it harder. If someone does decide they want to try and snatch it, you know, park it, in, park it facing a brick wall. Uh, park it next to those posts to stop people from crashing into shops. Just do everything you can to make it harder for a thief. You may have to walk your bike backwards, but fuck, at least you still got your bike. Remember, double disc lock front and back. Uh, make sure you put your reminders on so you see them, so you don't try and take off with your lock still on, because that can be costly. You guys do everything you can at home too, security cameras, uh, anchors, Alarm systems, the works. Uh, for someone like myself who absolutely loves bikes, um, and I commute on a bike, I don't have a car license, so it is my only way to get around. Uh, I do absolutely everything I can to make sure that my baby stays my baby and no one else's. So that's it for today, guys. Uh, thanks for tuning in. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up give it a like, give it a subscribe, and uh, yeah, stay safe on the road guys, I'll catch you later, peace.